I don't want to be all gloom and doom, but man, this year I've run into pests. I've never had this, and I've got about 20 trees, 30 trees, seen by a small caterpillar. I don't see one present on this tree right now, but man, just completely hammering these young trees, and maybe they're going to die. But I've made a decision. I'm not going to do pest controls. Either these trees are going to suffer through and get big enough to survive, or they're just going to die, and then I'll replace them. So I don't know if that's a good decision or not, but look at this tree, man. Almost no green. Sending out some new leaves, though. We'll see if they can survive it. This is the caterpillar that's causing all this damage. I don't know what that is, but that's him. Can you see him? just going to show you what I do with these trees as tree tube maintenance as part of the summer. I come up on this tree, I look in, I see dead leaves, it looks brown here, maybe there's a little green down there, I got to find out if the tree's alive or not. So that's why I like releasable zip ties. Sorry for the wind, it's always windy here. I've tried the microphone, it doesn't seem to go. So I'm lifting it up, and it looks mostly dead. So what do I evaluate? How do I evaluate if it's staying or leaving or going? Well, there's a green stem here. Looks like it got defoliated by one of those stupid worms. So I'm gonna leave those and see if that branch can come back, although I doubt it. It looks highly stressed. And there's a weed, I pull that out. Now this is a dead branch, so I'm cutting that. Now here, getting all the old leaves off. Now it's been completely defoliated, so this tree was going to live, but whatever's eating these, that, that caterpillar's crushing them this year. Never had that thing here that, before this year. So what I'm doing is I'm going to trim every little branch back. And I'm going to isolate for these two branches to see if they can overcome. I don't see any of those, those caterpillars on there right now, so maybe they've moved on. But who knows? I keep hoping it gets past their time of the year and let the tree survive. Now I'm going to put this back in the tube. This tree's either going to survive or it's going to die. But as I've told you, I'm not going to use insecticide here. I like the bees, I like the butterflies. I am not going to use insecticide unless I just get a horrible weevil problem. Maybe that's what I do. Half the time I open it and it sucks like this one. Sometimes they're all the way dead. I've had vole damage. I'm going to have to talk more about that because someone, a reader or a follower on the video has brought that up and I am convinced they are correct that some of my winter kills are due to voles. So we'll talk more about that uh, one of these other times. Anyway, that right there is caterpillar damage. So I've trimmed out all the old dead stuff. You get maximum sun. We'll see if it can make some new leaves and get something done this year, or maybe it'll die. We'll see. I've since found out that this is the gypsy moth caterpillar. It's a beautiful creature, and it turns into this moth, the gypsy moth can overtake a lot of plants if you get a local invasion. There's some things that you can do for them. You can squish them with mechanical controls, which is what I did. You can do certain sprays, although that's difficult. Other things you can do is find their egg sacs. They're kind of a teardrop shaped up to two inches in length. And you can squish those from August through spring. They can also form webs like this, but they're different than the bagworms that can be prevalent. But anyway, I'm working on finding out how to get rid of these.